let's talk about what empathy is to begin yes. with. You know, it's interesting. I do a lot of speaking in schools. This is like by far the most requested topic mm -hmm. for parents. Parents want to know, how can we teach empathy yeah. to kids that have everything, right? right? How can we teach empathy? And so in a very simplistic way, empathy is being able to, and it's a skill, it's simply a skill that we all learn it, yeah. being able to put ourselves in the shoes of somebody else, trying to really intellectually, emotionally be able to really feel with what they're actually experiencing. Okay, so this is a skill set that we can actually teach our kids. Okay, and this is going to come in handy, you know, in the world of technology and social Absolutely. media and all of these things. Yes. Think. Like, yes. stop for a moment yes. and think about what you're saying and what uh, somebody else might feel. Yes. So there's different levels of empathy. There's different levels of empathy. And one of the things that I love to do is kind of really an educator is really to help people understand it. So uh, there's actually three levels of empathy, okay? Mm -hmm. So the first level is what they call cognitive empathy. It's like when we can intellectually imagine with what the other person's feeling like, okay? okay. So that's a starting point. It's good, but it's not good enough, okay? okay? The next level is what they call emotional empathy, when a person can actually put intellectually put themselves in the shoes of somebody else. They can feel the emotion. Mm -hmm. So we're getting better, mm -hmm. but it's still not enough, okay. okay? The highest level of empathy, and that's really as parents with what we want to do in terms of helping our kids, is what they call compassion empathy. And that's when you can actually intellectually put yourself in the shoes of somebody else. You can feel the emotion, but the most important thing is they do something about it. Right. They take act. action. They yeah. Act, yeah, so it's not good enough to just feel bad. Mm -hmm. It's important thing to really teach empathy to our kids is we have to actually show them an action step. Really good. Yeah, okay, really that's a important. good way of breaking it down. You're saying there's so many benefits to kids, teens, adults for learning empathy. So. Oh my goodness, the research is amazing. There's yeah. so much research right now on empathy, which is kind of part of social emotional learning. They find that kids who actually who have higher levels of empathy, there's increased helping, increased cooperation, relationships, health overall. Yeah. Yeah. decreased aggression, decreased violence, and one of the other things that's really interesting is also increased memory and academics. There's a correlation oh, between empathy and actually academics, and part of the thinking behind it is that when somebody is emotionally all filled up, they have more mental capacity to focus on their schoolwork. Oh. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. And so there's a whole movement that's actually happening right now, really actually equipping and teaching kids how do we do this mm -hmm. so emotionally they're better, but also academically they're going to be better as well. That is so cool. Yeah. I love that. Okay, it's how do cool. we teach it then? Okay, so there's two main ways. Number one, um, it is super important that children feel empathy from parents. Mm -hmm. You know, it's one of the things that you, we can kind of teach it intellectually, but kids have to experience that we are empathizing with them. Right. Okay, so that's kind of like number one. But the other way that we can do it, which is super powerful, is to look for opportunities. Where can we, as adults, as moms, as dads, where can we actually basically um, exercise that compassion empathy? Okay, so that's really okay. the, the important part. So there's lots of different wonderful charities. The one I really love is called Plan International Canada. Mm -hmm. They have a wonderful campaign, and probably people have seen in different advertisements on it, called End Child Marriage. Yes. I love this campaign. Yeah. And so end child marriage, and so part of it with end child marriage is actually understanding the stats. And so with stats, and this is like that cognitive part that we want to educate our kids. So one out of every three girls in developing countries around the world are getting married before 18. Mm -hmm. One out of every three. We're not talking women, we're talking girls. girls. Okay, yeah. these are girls that are getting married. Mm -hmm. That's every two seconds, 15 million kids, uh, girls in the world. This is a global problem. This is a you know human rights issue in terms of how it impacts kids in terms of girls reducing their opportunities for education. Right. You know uh, potential areas in terms of abuse and relationships. So this is this is one particular um, opportunity in terms of actually really taking action, exercising that compassion, empathy, and doing something with our children. It's probably something a lot of people uh, you know are not thinking about on a daily basis in our world, in our area of the world, Absolutely. because we're thinking, oh, we're fighting for things like yes. equality in the world. Workplace. We're yes. fighting for things like equality and pay. We're not thinking about child marriage. Child so marriage. it's really good to bring that to the forefront yes. um, and talk to your kids about these issues out there. So you introduce right. topics where at they, the intellectual they, level, yeah. right? Yeah. And you teach the stats because it's really important, and then yes. creating an opportunity to do something. Right. Okay. This is really, and that's that compassion, empathy is yes. to actually to do something about and it. And we should be doing that. We should be, we should Absolutely. be guiding our children yes. down that path. We're not sitting back and waiting for them to say, right. well, you know, if they do say it, it's yes. great. Yes. But we need to guide them down Correct. that path. Of, Correct. How do you feel about this issue? What do you think should be done about it? What can we yes. do about it in our little world, right. in our little space on the planet? Right. What exactly. can we do? 